Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Co-op Kings. I will find a new way to say good afternoon every single day for the rest of my life, if I have to, to keep you on your toes. Because that was not the good afternoon you were expecting. It was kind of close, but not quite. Anyway, it is time for another episode with Nova. You're like, Nathanius, did I miss an episode? Why are you level four? If you watched the last episode all the way to the bitter, 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 bitter end, then you know that we got too much experience, and we went straight from level two to level four. Uh, yep. Someone sent me a snap. All right. So, we unlocked two abilities. There is no Nova level three. We skipped it. So, this is the darkest timeline, indeed. Tell Barry Allen to go back and make love to it. We unlocked assault mode. So, Nova can now change her outfit, as many women are prone to doing. Um, and of course, with a new outfit comes a whole new attitude and bag of tricks, which we will be seeing. Uh, I think you got the shotgun. You got the Q from uh, the Q ability from the Nova Covert Ops, where you just blast your shotgun uh, and you kill innocent Amon bad guys. And then you have the Barracks Upgrade Cache we also unlocked. So we got Super Stimpak, so our Marines can take drugs. And Marauders have a third hand somewhere. That fires a third gun. Blizzard Entertainment has legally prevented me from expanding on my thoughts of when I say third gun and maybe a third hand somewhere. So I'll leave it up to your imagination. All right, let's queue. These queues take forever. So I'm already resigning myself to being trapped in the queue for five years. <laughs> my name is Nathan Fabricant. After five years in queue, I have emerged with only one goal. Reaching level five. But to do that, I can't be the Nova player I once was. I must become someone else. I must become something else. Yeah. So, this could take a while. This has happened a few times. We actually haven't match made a single game with Nova now that I think about it. Episode one, we played with Reaper, who was a sub of mine. Episode two, we played with Nier, who is another subscriber of mine. So I'll probably give this a minute or two, and then I'll probably ask one of my Twitch subs in the chat to play with me. You too could join. My streams start at noon Pacific time, pretty much every day. I'm taking one day off this week to go to Universal Studios with my brother, since he is in town this week. And yeah, yeah. I'll try to stream every day from noon to nine. Um, streams are ending earlier. Oh my god, we actually found a game. Streams are ending a little earlier this week because I'm spending time with my brother. So, um, But we're still streaming for at least six hours a day. So, You get your StarCraft fix. Tune in. Twitch.tv slash Nathanius. And if you guys want to tell everybody that's not playing Nova to not queue up, then you could possibly be featured in one of these videos playing with me because I don't want to spend five years in a queue with only one goal. Whoa, that Ghost Academy was in the air, a air, a air, a air. Oh, hot damn. This Academy is my jam. Yo, Chuck. Got a contact Chuck. you might want to help me fill. Amon's using Tarsonis' old train system to ship some questions. All right, he's playing on Brutal, so no luck. Like, I think the strategy the that we talked like, about yesterday is going to be the best. What do you Get the gas, get your production going ASAP so that we can get the, um, getting the infrastructure set up is the most important. Being able to quickly get the factory and the starport because you only want to build so many SCVs, but you also know that your cooldowns are limited based on when you build your initial production structures. Based on when you build your initial production structures, that is extremely 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 important so that means you want to build all of your production you can only have one barracks one factory and one starport but you want to build them all as fast as humanly possible because otherwise it's just like lost time you know it's like in a ladder game you want to build your orbital command as fast as possible because having your orbital quickly means that you're spending less time not gathering energy Right? If you delay your orbital, it's like, oh yeah, whatever. But then your mule, like your your theoretical maximum amount of energy that a command center can spend is based on when it was built, right? So theoretically, you can't spend as much energy with a command center that turns into an orbital later than a command center that turns into an orbital earlier. 
And for that reason alone, someone replied, I wished happy birthday to my friend. I don't know if you guys heard my phone go off. Um, and in that regard, you do want to build things that are timer based as quickly as possible. So that's why I'm getting this up. We can see we got, uh, wait. Oh, I need an engineering beta research super stim pack. Okay, that's weird. I was like, why can't I build it? By the way, I'm gonna see this in every single video. Blizzard, why aren't these skins on that tab? Your menu looked so empty for patch 3.7 in terms of skins you could buy. Why can't I why can't I buy all of this? Why isn't there like a ten dollar covert ops Terran building pack? I paid ten dollars for that. To have all my stuff skinned like this on ladder? Oh my god, yes please. Why don't you just take my money, Blizzard? Alright? You guys are hiring me for BlizzCon. Don't even don't even pay me for BlizzCon. Just give me all the skins. Just give me every single unit skin for every single unit. Just don't let everybody else have them so I feel special. That's also very important to me. Somebody asks in my chat, do the skins and announcers and voice packs and all of that work in co-op? No, they are only for multiplayer. And I think arcade. So the idea behind that, as far as I know, is that it doesn't they don't want to mess with uh, your experience. Let's be honest, guys. If you were Unity Barrier recharging. Wait, did they patch this? Karax's Unity Barrier recharges? Okay, okay. So, Nova is Bay. Nova is Love. Nova is Life. We could try Mega Nova, right? We could do that, I think. So, as you guys can see now, all the cooldowns are starting to build. Alright, that enemy wasn't the biggest threat in the world, honestly. Oh, that guy broke the rocks for me. You know, it's like a good girl breaking the ice, you know. Sometimes you're just a little too nervous to walk up to her. So, this map seems like one where you can kind of punch into this a little bit, right? Like, if you assume that you know where the trains are going to come in. Alright. So, I wonder what... Oh, right, let's just go combat mode. So, she's a bit tougher in this mode. You can see you got the shotgun. This is the assault mode that we got. Which is pretty nice. The damage is very real on the shoddy. Damn, girl! And she can blink. It gives you 200 sh energy shields when you blink. That's pretty sick. That's 100 damage versus light. So when she's in this mode, she moves faster as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's build. Let's build some units. Our foe is making their move. We must be ready. I got my Mega Marauders. Boom! Boom! I can make the sounds and everything, guys. Look at me, I'm an adult. I'm an adult! You can't control me! I want my Super Stim. Yeah! Oh, you want it to- oh, okay. Wow. Nova bragging, guys. You know what happens if I talk about something good I do, man? Everybody on Reddit gets really upset. You have to be professional. Oh, I'm going to snipe it. Switch to cloak mode. Boom, headshot. All right. I love Nova already. Well, we already established that. Look at that. This little dude's all, he's like healing my SCVs. He's like, I got you. I got you, home slice. Let's get the Marine upgrades then. The Marine and the Marauder upgrades are going to be super, super important, I think. Um, it's interesting that you can actually build the railgun turrets that the Ravens drop. So let's break those rocks. Break those rocks so we can get uh, all of the things that we need. I want my Covert Ops unit skins as well, man. Look at this badass Marauder. I want this Marauder on ladder, dude. I want that Marauder on ladder. I want this Marine. The visor is different. This is not just a War Pig skin. That's a Covert Marine. The skin is different. You are talking to somebody who has played more StarCraft than most living people on this planet. All right. As far as like the, you know, 1v1 where you can see the war pig skins and all of that. So when I tell you that I know what the units look like, you got to believe me because I got no reason to lie. You guys like that? A little bit of freestyle? A little bit of freestyle? Is there anything we're not using enough of? And we gotta go combat mode. Combat mode! Oh baby, look at the blink! Boom! Oh my god, I'm so OP! 
Boom. Boom. I'm loving it. Hashtag not sponsored. These Marines have the drugs now, right? Yes. Nice thing is the Marine drugs actually heal them. Stimpak's a hell of a drug. And I can Seeker Missile this as well, and that's an instant 100 damage. I noticed the bug with Nova. She just said the warhead is ready to go, but I haven't unlocked the tactical nuclear strike yet. So it seems the nuke is on a separate timer than just Nova's abilities. So this is a bug that I'll probably report to Blizzard today. Um, all right, let's let Nova do her thing, because she's a badass motherfucker. I'm not supposed to swear in these videos. I'm sorry. I love you all. I'm having too much fun. Combat Nova is pretty badass. Here we go. Knock that train over and raise some hell. Raise some hell. Ready to raise some hell. I'll read ya, sir. Nova being a detector slash sensor tower is also pretty overpowered. Execute. Let's just let's just make it rain on them hoes. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain on them. Rain on them. Status report. Say again. <laughs> is this easy mode? I just save up all my charges, use the shields, and I'm untouchable. I'm unstoppable. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain on them. Nova's so strong. Look at my liberators shooting these trains. Main objective destroyed. Wow. That's so rude. Every time I say my opponent never set a chance on ladder, my jack gets upset. <laughs> I make it rain. All right, let's get the Marauder. Marauder upgrades. The enemy is advancing. Whoop, whoop. Prepare to meet them in combat. The shield does not stack; it just refreshes if you blink multiple times. Our foe is utilizing cloaking technology. We will require detectors. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain on him. A thousand minerals to win the fight. If only I could do that on ladder. Two trains at once. Oh my god. It's almost like we're not in America anymore. Functioning public transport? That's a real horror movie. Alright, so I got the concussive the suppression shells. But what I really need is the, uh... I can make a rain on you too, mother... Boom! I'm too powerful. You can't stop me, I'm OP. No, that Marine! Run for your life! Nova's just so fun. She's so strong. She's so strong. Nova's like the Zarya of StarCraft, you know? Because everyone knows Sergeant Hammer's a loser. Sergeant Hammer is like the booster from Turbo Man of StarCraft. We hate you, booster. Nobody likes you. We're out of Turbo Man dolls, but we've got his trusty psychic booster. I'd sooner die. Man, that's when like your your kid puts himself up for adoption when you get him the Sergeant Hammer doll. Nova here. I think we also debunked the theory that she could actually be a real sergeant. 
there were some serious holes in her her character. There is absolutely no way Sergeant Hammer is a real sergeant. I think we'd agree. What, what did we agree? She's master. She's like master petty officer or chief master petty officer Sergeant Hammer. Sergeant's actually her name. It's not. A, she's not actually a sergeant. It's just in her name. I was going to say, she actually does not exist in any real sense of StarCraft. Sergeant Hammer's like, some guy in the writing team was just like, I want to put this character in, and everyone was like, no, don't do it. And then they did anyway, and they were like, well, too late to retcon this. Look at this guy in his turrets, man. Look at these marauders doing like 420 damage per shot. Any more liberators? I need gopher chucks. Oh no 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 no! He's gonna give my units terminal illnesses. No 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 no! I don't want him to give me the. Uh, he's gonna use a radiate on my marines. No. No irradiate, Chan. Got it. Come out and fight me. Enemy attack en route to our base. This sounds like a job for. The fact that the Unity Barrier recharges is kind of cool. They did, Blizzard did not announce that change. Oh! Alright. I pay to win! Oh, Nova's dead? Oh, look at this! The cost is going down. It's all about the money, now money, money. Is this brutal difficulty? Yeah. I thought I was playing on kindergartner mode as well. Bit of a shock for him when he found it. Unacceptable command. We're at maximum supply. As Johan Littard Merlo would say, we are at maximum supply. There is no more soup left. All right, let's make it rain on them hoes. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain on them. Rain on them. Rain on them. The United States Federal Bureau of Investigation just put out an APB on Nathaniel Lawrence Fabricant for committing atrocities against Amon. But isn't he a terrorist? Yeah, well, that's the U.S. government for you. Has been beep, 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 beep. Oh, sh nerf this. I got 130 damage liberators, Amon. You mad, brah? Look at these guys. They just do randomly 45 damage. Magrail munitions. Objective Check this out. Terminated. 45 damage to a target enemy unit. Auto cast. Amon never had a chance, guys. I actually feel bad for Amon. I want to build more units. Let's just, let's just throw away some of my SCVs. Oh, no, 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 the bonus train. We gotta get the bonus train. We need the bonus train. All right, these SCVs can fight that wave. The bonus train. Unacceptable command. Who are you to tell me what I can and can't do? This is the land of the free and the home of the brave. It's my command. I can do what I want to. These magro munitions are disgusting. They can't have much cargo left. Keep it up. We are at maximum supply. Oh, these guys never died. My SCVs never die. I was like, I thought I could build more units than that. Oh no, he's gonna kill the train before I even get to touch it. Into the breach! No 
Let me pay! I wanna Lex Luthor this shit! Boom! You're goddamn right. <laughs> That's a done deal. It's been a pleasure working with you. You mad, bruh? It's been another episode of Cop Kings. Thank you for tuning in. You guys can see the progress that we've made. Are we a tactical airlift yet? Can we just teleport across the map? Yeah, we can! <laughs> yeah, you can. Tactical airlift. We can call down the Griffin to rapidly transport your units to a targeted location. Call down the Griffin from the top panel. Seems good. Nova OP confirmed. Blizzard, I actually almost fell asleep doing all of that. Thankfully, I've got my Harambe mug and lots of coffee. If you guys like this video, press subscribe. We're about to break 10,000 subs on YouTube. We probably will hit it by the time that this video goes live. But uh, a lot of you people watch this and don't sub. So just do it. Help a brother out. I love you. Peace.